for the first three seasons of this series, one thing that we struggled to do was find consistency at the quarterback position. Well, that changed in the second round going into season number four as we drafted Sonny McKnight, a mobile quarterback out of Georgia. A lot of experts predicted that he could not throw the ball accurately from the pocket. Well, he proceeded to throw for 5,800 yards in the regular season. And look at these throws. I mean, that one right on the money to the area smokes in the corner of the end zone. Those are the type of throws he was throwing all season long. And it led him to a rookie of the year campaign. And he ended up being the NFL rookie of the year as well as the AFC rookie of the year. And JJ Chark, who catches that pass right there, finished second. And he didn't even start until game number six in the season. Miami went on a tear and crushing everybody in their way in the regular season, went on to the playoffs where they had a couple of close games, including a Kansas City comeback late. And we hold, held on to win that game. And now we find ourselves in the Super Bowl for the first time in this series. We've been to the AFC Championship twice, the first time Tua could not get it done. And now we face the Cowboys as they are the number one scoring offense in the NFL this year. They've scored 24 points in every playoff game so far. They started in the wild card round as the second seed and they lead this number one offense out onto the field led by Ezekiel Elliott who has historic numbers this season but Sonny McKnight getting rookie of the year did get an upgrade in his development trait he is now at star and he has went up quite a bit he is officially up 10 overall over his first season of work we'll see how far he can get with his journey now Dak Prescott is still a star for the Cowboys still signed for the next four years but I just mentioned Zeke he ran for 2,100 yards and 25 touchdowns, one of the best seasons we've ever seen at the running back position. And he is primed here, 99 overall still. And we'll see what this offense can do today. This offense is also led by Mike Gesicki at tight end, our former tight end. And he has really found himself a role with this offense. But this offense has three 1,000-yard receivers, not including Gesicki. On defense, they have two elite pass rushers in Micah Parsons. And how about this? J.J. Watt has signed with the Cowboys. He's on a one-year deal. We will see how good this prolific pass rush will be. But we do get one of our pass rushers back. This is Darius Howard, who has often been injured. He is now back into the lineup on defense so cowboys will start out with the ball here in the super bowl a home super bowl for the cowboys here in texas there's a lot of miami fans in the stands though we travel pretty well but dallas at home today so they have the advantage out comes dak to lead this offense We'll see what goes on today. Here is Zeke starting out with the handoff. There is a stop in the backfield. Andrew Van Ginkle was there, and James Joyner ended up cleaning that one up. His now that brings it to a second and nine. Now at their own 26, Dak from the shotgun. It looks like he's got the screen pass called and incomplete. Now a third and nine. Dak back, back at the 26, throwing to left side. This one will be caught. Amari Cooper goes up and gets it for a gain of 10 over Darius Slay. Now at the 35, here's a handoff. Zeke makes a move in the hole, breaks the tackle from Tibby Obi, and he's down the right sideline. Javon Holland gives a dive, and he can't get him. It's a touchdown. Zekeo Elliott right away, a long run. He was having a great season. Look at the move in the hole that time. And then Javon Holland can't bring him down. And then he's off to the races. And Timmy Obi either. Now it's 46 touchdown, 30 pick. Sonny McKnight out onto the field. 5,800 yards. That's a rookie record. And maybe even an NFL record. I have to double check that one. But here we go. At our own 20, it looks like we're going to have to play catch up with this offense. Here the first pass is going to be to the right side. This one is going to be caught. And that is Justin Castillo, but out of bounds. 
Still at our own 20 after a false start penalty. McKnight rolls to the right side. He, he was looking deep on that one to TPH who had a step. And it's going to be a scramble instead. A gain of eight. Now a third and seven now at our own 28. Here's a throw to the left side. This one is going to be caught. It's Jalen Waddle who's going to have to play a huge role today. As it looks like uh, Diggs is not guarding him. He's on the right side of the field. Here is a handoff this time to TPH, and there is Micah Parsons playing on the edge. It's going to be a gain of two. We eventually get it to a third and three. McKnight throws left side. This one's going to be caught. It's Hunter Long for the catch in the first down. He has five touchdowns this season as that backup tight end roll. At the 28 now, here is McKnight dropping back, looking for somebody to throw it to. He does throw it a little bit too late, but still caught by J.J. Chark as we get it to the 21. Now a third and three, five wide out there. Here's a throw to the right side. This one's picked off. It looks like it will be taken back. Sonny McKnight is the last line of defense, and he's not going to catch him. It's going to be a touchdown for the Cowboys right away, and we give one to the Cowboys. This is the second year pro slay. But take a look at the route that Justin Castillo ran. He had a whole lot of field. He had the option route to stop and catch this one. And look what he does. He he actually goes to the right, but nobody is near him. All he had to do was stop. And Sonny McKnight anticipated that route coming. And instead, it's an interception. 14-0 just like that in the Super Bowl. So here is McKnight now on the next drive, throwing to the right side. This one's caught by TPH, helped out by head coach St. Pierre getting up. It's a gain of six. Now under center this time, McKnight rolls to the right side. He's got space, but Micah Parsons giving chase, but it's a nice throw. At about the 50-yard line, it's going to be caught by Mark Parker for the first down. Play action fake now. Parsons once again getting in there. Here's a deep shot down the right side, and Jalen Waddle went up and got it, but could not hold on. Second and 10 now. Play action fake this time. McKnight out of the pocket. He will throw at the last second, looking for Hunter Long, and it's knocked out of his hands. Third and 10 now. At the 49 again, running Parker in motion. McKnight under center. He will throw this one to the second level. It's going to be Justin Castillo. And that's a first down throw. This time Slay could not keep up with Castillo. So first and 10 now at the 34-yard line. Here is McKnight under center. He's going to move to the right side. He's going to throw it too. And that one will be caught by Waddle. And it looks like the Cowboys defense is not breaking so far, giving up a couple of short throws. But now a third and five. Once again, throwing to the sideline, but this one will be dropped by Castillo. He actually has the superstar X factor to not allow him to drop passes if he catches balls consistently. And that one, he can't hold on. He's had drop issues so far this year. 14 to three game as we settle for three points. And here is Dak back out onto the field, dumping the pass off to Ezekiel Elliott. And that one will be a first down to about the 41. This Cowboys offense is very tough to guard. They have so many weapons at every position. Here's a handoff. This is Zeke, and he gets five yards. Gesicki at tight end has really changed this offense, and we traded him to the NFC in hopes that we wouldn't have to face him. And then here we are in the Super Bowl. Amari Cooper with the first down catch right there. Three of five from Dak so far, but a lot of first down conversions here in the first quarter. Now at the 44, here's a toss play out to Zeke. He runs over a defender and picks up about a gain of two. And that one will be a stop by Raekwon Davis, I believe that was. Second and seven into the second quarter. Dak throws across his body and somehow finds Amari Cooper, who breaks free. He's about to the 10-yard line, and he gets tackled at the seven. I don't know how he got sprung forward on this one. Look at the broken tackle, and all of a sudden, he's just off to the races. Ivan Ginkle missed the tackle on that one, trying to jump on his back. First and goal, handoff. It's a touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott is in the end zone. And wow, it's now 21 to 3 here in the second quarter. We have not stopped their offense at all. The pick six didn't help either. So now on our next drive, here's a throw to the left side. That one will be dropped by JJ Chark. Third and 10. 
McKnight rolling to the right side, trying to pick up 10 and it fumbles out of bounds for a gain of eight and fourth and two. For the first time I've ever seen back in our own territory, coach suggestions want us to go for this. Fourth and two, McKnight rolls and he does pick up the first down. He slides down. 30 yards rushing for McKnight. We need a whole lot of offense, though, to keep up with this offense for Dallas. As here we throw it to the right side, and this one incomplete. Something has just been off here in the first half. It's now a third and 10 at our own 35. Six and a half to go. Three wide receivers out there and a tight end. Castillo's open, but McKnight throws across the middle. This one almost picked off but knocked out of his hands. J.J. Chark on the defense on offense. So 21 to three now. Here is Dak throwing across the middle. This one's caught by Gesicki. He picks up the first down to about the 40. And there's just so many weapons to guard here for this Cowboys offense. Now a first and 10. Another throw to left side. This one is caught by Amari Cooper. And another first down. There's no more CeeDee Lamb for this team, but they still replace him with George Sellers, who has not caught in a pass today. Caught a pass today but he's over 1,000 yards receiving. They have three 1,000-yard guys in Sellers, Gallup, and Amari Cooper. Here's a throw to Cooper. Open at the 20. He catches it, and he gets tackled at about the 17. Trayvon Roberts brings him down, but this offense cannot be stopped so far. Now they get into a third and nine at about the 16. Here's a play-action fake this time. Dak in the pocket, tries to scramble to the right side, throws to the sideline, and this one's going to be caught, but out of bounds before the first down marker, and they're going to line up to go for this one. It's a fourth and three at the 10. Dak under center this time. Looks like he's running slants. He tries to get rid of it, but it's going to be a sack. It looks like Sherwin Finney and Solomon Thomas are in on the sack, and there is a stop that we needed badly. And now we have a chance to drive the field here with about three minutes to go. Here's a throw to the sideline. This one will be caught an acrobatic catch by Jalen Waddle. First down. Now to about the 42-yard line, about two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Here is McKnight. It looks like a free blitzer came off the left edge, but it, we will get rid of it for a first down. 11 for 21 so far in the first half for Sonny McKnight. Here is a handoff this time. It's TPH, and he picks up a gain of eight. We haven't given him many handoffs so far, but now we got, got it with two minutes to go. Trying to throw deep to the right side, and that one will be to about the second level. J.J. Chark on the catch. Now a minute 15 to go, rolling again. This pressure is getting in there right away and causing McKnight to roll out, but another acrobatic catch by Waddle to the six. That stops the clock. Here's a handoff to TPH. He tries to cut back, and that is a tackle by Slay again. And now we get it to the four. Second and goal, McKnight rolling. He might try to run this one, but no, he throws it. It's an open man in the end zone. TPH four, the touchdown, and we'll finally get on the board here before halftime. 21 to 10 here. We're right back in this game, though. But 43 seconds left here in the first half. It's a lot of time before halftime. Here's a screen pass called, and there is Raekwon Davis with the stop. And they do call their first time out. They are being very aggressive in this game. Play action fake now. An open man to the right side. It's going to be caught. And that is their tight end, backup tight end. He catches it for a gain of 17. It's going to be a first down for Greenwood. So here is Dak now. Looks like they have bunch to the left side. He throws across the middle in the open man. It's Gallup. He gets to about the 34. He's down there, and the clock will roll. They will not hurry up to the line, but they eventually call a timeout at about 10 seconds and line up for this 51-yarder, and the kick is up, and it looks like it's going to be short, and it just sneaks over the crossbar, and that's how this half will end, and we just kneel it out. Down by two scores going into halftime, 24 to 10. And the Dolphins have met their match here on offense. The number one scoring offense versus Sonny McKnight. Can McKnight come back in the second half? So this is where a series of unfortunate events happen. So 
my capture card actually did not capture the second half which is very very devastating especially in a big game like this if this is like a normal episode i would be all right with it like i wouldn't be too mad but in the super bowl for this to happen i didn't have a backup save at all and this is the result we end up actually playing the second half we did not sim it or anything it just did not record but Sonny McKnight came back and threw two more touchdowns in the second half, totaling three on the day. We started to run the ball more, gave the ball to TPH 19 for 86. Jalen Waddle had an excellent game. Justin Castillo and Hunter Long scored in the second half. And we really started to turn up our defense. We started to come up with, with some stops. We didn't help hold them in the third quarter to any touchdowns. And Solomon Thomas came up big. He had a few tackles for loss that were huge, and he ended up with one and a half sacks on the day. But then Dak really started to settle down and really started to convert some big third down throws. He only threw one touchdown in the game, but he went 20 of 25, and he had the two-score lead going into halftime. And Zeke ran 15 for 99. You can just see his average was very high in the first half. And they ended up holding on to win the game. 31 to 27. In the third quarter is where we really started to run the ball well. We had 14 points scored and we held them to nothing. And then in the fourth, we actually took the 27 to 24 lead before Dallas put together a two minute drive to win the football game. And it was just a little too late. We didn't have enough time to drive down the field for Sunday McKnight. But the difference in this game was the third down conversions. They went six of 10 on third down. Actually, I believe it was six of eight. And it was just crazy. And the crazy thing about it is that, you know, our third down conversion, we were like four of 10. So they were, I think they were six of eight. We were four of 10. It doesn't show the uh, percentage right here, but they end up getting us here in the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys that second half, and I feel really bad about it because it was a great second half. We came back and everything. I thought we were going to win. Then they put together a two-minute drive and ended up sealing the game up 31-27. to Their sixth Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl win in team history, and that sucks. I am sorry about it. I couldn't control it at all, but things happen, and... We will hop into season number five pretty quickly. We're going into the off season, and we have two first round draft picks. This is going to be huge because we are missing a lot of guys in free agency, especially our veterans. A lot of them are going to walk. So we will see what our team looks like come next year. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Sorry for the capture card. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride